hi everybody welcome back so this is my project pan update video i put one of these out at the start of every month to update you guys on the progress of my makeup items that are in my project pan and i'm very happy to say that i have two empties this month so i think i'm going to start off with those two products and then talk about the progress on the rest of my items so the first item I finished off on the 10th of May and it took me six uses this month to completely use it up and it is my mini NARS concealer in the shade Madeleine. I have scraped out all of the products and I've even taken the stopper out as well and I actually preferred how this applied when the stopper had been removed. It's like the product was a bit more fluid. Now, saying that, I, I will still not <laughs> repurchase this because I don't think it's that good. This is such a popular concealer. It gets so much hype, so many people love it, and I just don't really find it to be that good. I, I think it might be better on younger skin, perhaps, or skin that isn't as dry, perhaps, as mine is, but especially under my eyes, I do really notice it. I can see it. It's not the easiest concealer to blend in and weirdly enough this is called radiant creamy concealer and i do not find it creamy now this doesn't do a bad job of sort of concealing my dark circles or covering blemishes and that but my vive concealer is so much better than this one i much prefer the effect of that one and that's the one that i have on today and considering that this concealer is 20 something quid in the full size version i personally don't think it is worth that much money i'm glad that i bought it in the mini so i've tried it and i now know that it is not a concealer that works for me but yeah, 20 something quid for a full size one of this concealer. I do think it is a little bit overpriced, but like I say, just because something is really popular and really well known and works for a lot of people, doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. But I'm glad that I've tried it and I now have just one concealer in my collection. So that is item number one that I finished off this month. And the next item I finished off this month took me 15 uses. I finished it up on the 20th and it is my Kiko lip gloss in the shade 19. This is the pinky brown neutral one. I've got two, well I had two, sorry, Kiko lip glosses. I finished off number four, which was like a sparkly peach pink coral. And then this one had no sparkle in it. And it was a really lovely warm neutral brown pink, a really lovely everyday color. I much preferred this one over 04. And Kiko lip glosses are brilliant because they're so fluid. They're not really hugely sticky or gloopy they're very sort of like thin very comfortable to wear and this was just a really enjoyable product for me to finish off because i could wear it over the top of lipsticks or lip liners I could also wear it on no makeup days as well and then because it's a lip gloss it's really easy to just keep reapplying it throughout the day this is another product that i took the stopper out of with 04 i took the stopper out way too soon and then the product just got really messy I didn't do that with this one. I waited until I couldn't get any more product out and then I took the stopper out. And I do recommend taking stopper out of your products if you can, because you do get quite a bit more product left in your makeup. I don't always do that. It depends how much I like the product, but this one I really enjoyed, so I did take the stopper out of. I would definitely recommend Kiko Lip Glosses and I am inclined to purchase some more in the future and there's such a range of different shades you can go for. So there's lots of options to choose from really enjoyed using this one up okay so those were the two empties i'm now just going to talk about the rest of the items in my project pan i'm going to work down my list first one i used 27 times this month <laughs> this is my bronzer fenty shady biz it looks ridiculous so i had a big pan in the middle of this at my last check-in and it was getting really difficult to get product on my brush because i would just get product around like the edges so I repressed it, I did that on like the 20th. I did my normal repressing routine, but when it dried, it dried with so many cracks in it, it was just really, really dry. And every time I used it, it didn't matter how gentle I was, it cracked apart and bits of the bronzer fell off. So this is what I'm left with at the moment. Touch wood, this doesn't seem to be breaking apart now, so hopefully I should be able to just use this up rather than this falling off and getting through the product that way. So yeah, I've used it 27 times this month, a lot of times, and hopefully I should be done with this now that there's not much left of it in like two months, possibly. 
and I will be glad to, to be done with this product because I was panning it all of last year I've been panning it all of this year it is a lovely bronzer but I'm now just at the point where I'm like okay I've been working on you for such a long time I want to move on to the Vive bronzer that I've got in my collection as well also if anybody knows why this kept cracking and falling apart apart please let me know is it because the product is maybe a little bit old now I don't really know why I did that next product is another one I've got on today it's my liquid liner I've just got a very thin line of it it's my Ico black magic cocoa edit eyeliner use it 22 times this still feels really fluid so I've, I've still got no idea when I'm going to be done with this product but like I keep saying it is a mini there's only 0.3 mils of product in here so there's not a lot and I've had it for quite some time and I've been panning it for I've been panning it for all of this year I feel like I've been panning it for quite some time so I'm hoping it's going to start to dry out soon and I'm going to start to be done with it because liquid liner it, it's not really my preference I much prefer a powder one but it's it's still a product that I'm enjoying using so I don't really mind too much that it's it's still in my project pan but 22 times is a good amount of times to use this product so hoping for a similar amount of time next month okay blusher number one of three in my project pan this is my Stila cream blusher in the shade Lilium I used it 11 times so not as much as the previous two items I've spoken about but because I've got three blushes in my project pan, I'm having to alternate between two of them. So 11 times with this one. I'm starting to not like this product as much as I have done in the past. It's getting more difficult to make this warm because it is a cool pink. It is a little bit trickier than the other blusher that's in my project pan to, to warm up. But I'm going to keep it for now. I'm going to see how much longer I can work on this before I start thinking you know what I, I, I'm done with it but it's a really lovely blusher to work with I just wish the shade was a bit more warm but cream blushes are lovely for that really like healthy plump blush effect much prefer to use this with my fingers as well rather than a brush I feel like it, I can diffuse it out a bit more if I go in with a, a brush it tends to be really pigmented Okay, I've got two eye wands from Vive. One is in the shade Camel, which I use for my cream bronzer. I've done that today. I've used that one 23 times since the last check-in. The other one is in the shade Sand, which I use 26 times. That's slightly lighter, so I use that one as an eyeshadow base. So, I've used one 23 times, one 26 times, and I am really disappointed that when I mark my progress on my sheet of paper, I've got barely any visible progress and that's really frustrating because I've used them so much and I've been thinking every time I've used them like oh yeah I must be getting like quite a way through this and I roll them up and I'm like no still got a lot of product left but I thought you know what when it comes to me marking it that's probably when you can see how much progress you've made but I've made barely any so yeah that's that's fun so that means that these will be my project pan for the rest of the year. Now, because I use one as my cream bronzer and one as my eyeshadow base, it, it means I have a purpose for them. So it's not that big of a deal, but I would have liked to have seen much more visible progress than I have done with these. So that is frustrating, but I am using them really regularly and there is a place for them in my routine. I was really hoping to have been done with this product by this check-in, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I will be by the next one. I used it 25 times. It is my MAC Single Eyeshadow in the shade Shroom. I've got barely any of this left. I've just got little bits of the powder in it that I don't really think you can kind of see it in, in this one, but I am going to put up a, a picture of it instead. So this is my go-to eyeshadow at the moment because I, ju I just want to get this one done. It's been in my collection for quite some time. I think I was panning it all of last year and then I took a break from it at the start of this year. I think it's only the past couple of months it's gone back into my project pan. But this is going to be a really easy one to, to use up. I've got it all over the lid today. If I keep using it as an all over the lid colour, maybe a little bit of a highlighter colour as well, then I will get through this so quickly. So... A shame that this one hasn't been used up this month, but this will, it will be used up by the next check-in. So next is my Kiko Brow Pencil. 
I used this wand 26 times, so a lot of times, and I was hoping for slightly more visible progress in it when I marked it on my sheet. Now, it may just be the fact that this needs sharpening. So if I had sharpened this before I measured it, then obviously we'd be a, a bit further down the sheet of paper, but 26 times is still a really good amount of time to wear a product in a month, so it's one that I'm using really, really frequently. It's my only brow pencil, and I do my brows every time I wear makeup, so it's one that I am using very, very regularly. So this one I think will be with me for still another three to four months to come. It takes me way longer to use up a brow pencil than it does one of the like twisty up ones, like the, the NYX Micro Brow. One of those I can get through in two months. So this one is a much more sustainable, maybe. It, it's a better option to go for because I'm using, say, one or two of these in a year compared to like five of the NYX Micro Brows in a year. Next is my Vive Skin Dew, used it 24 times. This one I'm now using as like an actual highlighter on my cheeks, I've done that today. And that's because I am using two new base products as part of my Shop My Stash and those I don't feel like I want to add some of this to it to help kind of like sheer it out. This I tend to mix in with my typical foundations. So I don't mix this in with my new tinted moisturiser or my new CC cream because they're a bit sheerer to begin with anyway so yeah this one I'm just using as a liquid highlighter but the weather touch wood is getting warmer so I can now start to maybe wear this more on like my collarbone if I get my legs out I can put some on my calves maybe mix them into body moisturiser as well so I have used this 24 times in the past month and this is actually a product I'm using really really regularly but because I use such a small amount and it is a 60ml tube it is one that I'm getting through very slowly. So yeah another one that's probably going to be with me until the end of the year. Next is my liquid blusher, this is by Vive, this is a sunset blush balm in the shade Pesca. I used this one 11 times, so the same amount of time as the Stila one, and I alternate between this one and the Stila one. This one I do have on today, really easy to use, unscrew the lid obviously and just squeeze a line along your cheek, blend it out with a brush or you can use your fingers and it's just a really lovely healthy bit of glowy blush. No shimmer in it at all though, so there's there's no glitter, but it is a nice kind of dewy blush. And then I like to go in with the peach powder blusher over the top as well to kind of cement that colour in. And this one is in my project pan because I really like using this one. I tend to go for products in my project pan that I don't love as much and I want to get used up, but that means that I start to neglect products that I really love. So this one is going in my project pan because I really love it and I don't want it to get neglected whilst I work on other blushes. And that powder blusher that I mentioned is Milani Luminoso, I use it 27 times and I use this regardless of whether I use the Stila blusher or the Vive blusher. This one, the dome is getting really flat so I'm hoping in the next couple of months I can start to hit pan on it because I've had this for ages, I've used this a lot so I don't think that I'm that far off hitting pan on it, I hope. This is a really beautiful blusher, I've got it on today. It's a, a shimmery, peachy, coral shade, so very warm. Doubles up as like a, a blusher and a highlighter, but I do tend to go for a highlighter as well because I've got one of those in my project pan that I'm gonna come on to. A really lovely blusher to use. It's really easy to blend. It, it's just a very beautiful looking, easy blusher to work with. But again, this will probably be one that will be with me until the end of the year because blushes are just so difficult to use up, they take a long time. And that powder highlight is from Vive. This is my face palette in the shade Dawn. It's this one here with this big pan and I'm hoping the pan is bigger compared to last month's photo. And this one I have used 24 times. This is a really pretty highlighter. It's a really finely milled, bit of a shimmery but not glittery highlighter. And I've, I've got some on today, not, not a load. And it's a really nice warm yellow gold, so a very, very pretty shade. And this one, again, will probably be with me until the end of the year. I know I've got a big pan going on, but to completely use it up, I do think will take me the rest of the year. Okay, I've got two more products left. The next one I used 12 times. This is my lip liner in the shade Peekaboo Neutral from NYX. This one also needs a bit of a sharpen. 
but the progress on my sheet of paper is really good since the previous check-in so if I had sharpened it before I measured it the progress would be even better. Now this one I usually wear when I double up with the Stila blusher, I, I put both of them on my cheeks at the same time and, and blend them out. I'm not often wearing this as a lip product now, if I am then obviously that's going to help me get through it that bit quicker but I'm, I'm tending not to at the moment but I am going to try to do that moving forwards because obviously that means I'll get through it that bit quicker as well. So this one probably three more months I would say and then this one should be done. And this one's in my project pan because I've got another lip liner by NYX that I prefer to use. I don't know if I said, but I used that one 12 times. And then the last item is a new item that I've decided to include in my project pan. And this comes from the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. So obviously that means I've got another eyeshadow in my project pan. This one I included on the 24th and I've only used it five times since. So in this palette there are four shades that I want to completely use up and the rest I, I'm not going to use because they're just too dark for me. And those shades are these four down here. And the shade that I've included in my project pan is the shade Chaser. I've already hit pan on this one as part of my pan in every eyeshadow palette challenge. And this is matte warm ivory. So this shade I should hopefully get through fairly quickly because this will be my go-to lid colour. I can use this to set the Vive Eye Wand in sand, that's also in my project pan. And then any other eyeshadow that I choose to wear can just go on top of this one. So this one should hopefully be an easy shade to hit pan on. And then at some point I will include the other three as part of the project pan as well because once I have used all four of these shades up I'm going to pass this eyeshadow palette on because I just I won't use the rest of the palette and I reckon four months possibly until I've completely used this shade up. So that was this month's update video so I've finished off two products and I've added one more in to my project pan to be working on so that means I'm working on 13 items now as part of my project pan. In terms of empties for next month that MAC eyeshadow that one has to be used up honestly I, if I haven't used that one up by the next update then, then something is seriously going wrong so that one should be an empty and to be honest I think that one will probably be my only empty unless more of that Fenty bronzer decides to crack and fall apart. So probably just one more empty for the next update video. But hope you did like this one. As always, please let me know how your project pan is going in the comments down below. And if you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up. And I will see you very soon for my Pan In Every Eyeshadow palette update video. Thanks again, guys. Bye.